What is up everybody and welcome to RobyTech. For those of you who don't know, my name is Justin Roby. I'm the host of RobyTech. RobyTech is a show dedicated to PC building, tech news, tech deals. We're gonna add some gaming, all those other things. We're starting to add to our repertoire as we just do more of this RobyTech 2.0 stuff. Now what is happening on the show today? Well, we're checking out a new case from a company called Montech, and they're they're kind of a new, kind of an unknown one. Uh, this one's called the Sky One. So let's talk about what we're putting in this build today. Um, we got some new Montech stuff we never played with today, so we'll be checking that out as well. So we've got a Ryzen 7 5800X. Uh, I wanted to use the RG Strix B550 Gaming A, um, so we, that's why we're choosing Ryzen for today's build. For our RAM and our storage. We're gonna do a 970 EVO Plus. This is 64 gigs of Ballistics Crucial 4000 megahertz RAM. This is the Montec Century 850 watt gold PSU. I know you guys love this card. Uh, this is the uh, GeForce RTX 3070, the MSI Supreme. That is the build. Let's go ahead and get started on the PC building. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get our installation. So we're gonna grab our CPU. Okay, so here we go. Popping this open. Okay, here we go. Okay, that is in, our CPU's in. And then what we're gonna do now is let's go ahead and grab our RAM, this ridiculous RAM I have. You see this little slot in the PCB? We're just gonna line it up just like that. Pop it in, and there it goes. You guys hear that? Listen, listen. Oh, yeah, that gets me pumped. I love good clicks. Thank you very much, Barry, for the, oh, oh, man, whoo, whoo, that was good. Okay, let's get our uh, M.2 in here. Okay, there we go, pop that in. Cool, boom. Love how that motherboard looks. Look at this tower. Look at this cooling tower. <laughs> it's got like RGB at the top even. Look at that. So big. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to take the fan off though. Okay, there is our pillar. Ready to go. There we go. There's that one, and okay, we have a cooler installed now. Okay, cool. Motherboard is now prepped. Let's go ahead and strip this down, take a look at the case. First thing I'm gonna do is look at the back. It's probably the product that I get most excited about because see what kind of depth we have. So it's got a five volt RGB hub built in. Pretty, Still pretty shallow in the back in terms of uh, just for cable management thickness. You've got a really nice uh, anti-sag bracelet. Um, you got that NZXT type uh, cable hider. So we'll throw some Cooler Master Halo RGB fans in this. Okay, so let's see what we got in the box here. They give you exactly five zip ties, instructions, motherboard, a couple standoffs, standoff tightener. And then the other thing that's nice, it actually comes with a PC speaker. So pretty neat, not bad. Throw a T-Force Vulcan thing in here just, just because. So we'll get this out. So we've got a hard drive in here now. And let's get our fans, some fans installed real quick. Okay, so all of our fan stuff is through. Let's go ahead and pop this down. So let's get our motherboard in now. We're kind of going for like a black and white theme here. in there. Okay. This doesn't quite, there's no peg, so that's kind of interesting. So we need this. Now we're gonna do is turn this over, start running all our stuff through.
Okay, so let's walk through real quick what, what I did hook up. So we got USB 3. This up here is our rear fan. Um, we've got our SATA connection for our drive. Our SATA connection we're going to put for our SATA drive in the front. This is our front panel connectors. This is our fans, front three fans. They're all on a splitter. So that's how those are. Uh, then we have our RGB for the, like the RGB hub all up. That's the RGB hub all up. Uh, and then we have our HD audio, which is here. So that's everything hooked up in the front. Now what we're gonna do is let's install our GPU. So everybody say GPU time. Okay, let's grab our GPU now. Ugh, our big hefty boy, Supreme. And like I said, we have a sag bracket that is here. So the sag bracket's a little high right now. Ugh. Is that the lowest it goes? So let's get this in and then we'll get the sag bracket on. It's like little things about this case. Like you think this case was, is gonna be great and then it's just like little things that keep like making it not quite as good as it can be. Like little cheapy things. Like little places where they cut costs. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm curious if like, if you're even gonna be able to use this bracket. Maybe? Could I put it? Yeah, there's like no way to use this bracket. Okay, well, we can't use it. So if you're gonna use a SAG bracket, don't use a Supreme. Use like a smaller GPU, I guess. So now what we do is we put this over it. Not sure I would recommend this case. The more I've used it, the more the less happy I'm starting to become with it. Look at that, you're like, you can't even get this bracket in now. What the deuce, dude? Nope, even that. Okay, you can't even, you, there's no way to get this back on if you have certain cards. This is literally the worst design. I was excited about building in this case, but this is like not my favorite. Let's get our, car, our cables on and then turn this thing on. Okay, let's do our PSU next. So let's put our top, let's put our back on, make sure our back closes. This does not have a ton of room in the back here. Nope, that went on pretty easily. Here it comes, guys. Let's finish it. Boom. 